Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to the session. Machine learning. In previous session, we discussed about the two concepts: classification and machine learning, well-posed learning problems. The classification and machine learning we discussed about the supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Whereas, come to the well-posed learning problems, we discuss three problems. First one is discuss about the checkers playing a checkers learning problem. Second one is handwritten recognition problem, and third one is automatic robotic automatic driving autonomous vehicle driving problem. In this classification of machine learning, we are classified supervised, unsupervised, as well as reinforcement learning. These are the types of the machine learning, as well as classification of the machine learning. Supervised and unsupervised, as well as reinforcement learning. About this, we discuss deeply in coming classes. Next concept discuss about the well-posed learning problems. In this well-posed learning problem, mainly discuss about three issues. First one is uh, set the class of tasks. Second one is performance measured, and third one is source of experience. Means First, we need some class of uh, set of tasks. Then we can measure some performance, and then we can get some experience. Based on this, we discuss three well-posed learning problems. First one is checkers learning problem, as well as second one is handwritten recognition learning problem, and third one is a robot driving learning problem. Here we discuss three things, three examples. Main three key attributes are there. Three features are there. Main task, second one is performance measure, and fourth one is training experience. In these three examples, it differs one to one. Means when it comes to the first one, playing a checkers game, learning a checkers game, check, learning a checkers playing problem. We are only machine to machine or human to human, but we are mainly focused on machines. The machine can we play a game with human or maybe machine to machine. It is about the system to. Human to human, human to machine interaction. Let us come to the second one. Handwritten recognition learning problem. Discuss about the research oriented about special image processing or artificial intelligence, so on and so. And third one is completely technology learning problem. And then next we discuss about the come to our main today concept that is about the learning it design designing learning system. Here designing learning system is what is the meaning of the learning system? As well as what is the main object of the learning system? The main learning system is nothing but a yeah, to play a checkers game with opponent, or the machine can be participant in a world champion tournament, world tournament about the checkers game. So, to we are trying the machine, we try to we are trying the machine. So, for that purpose, we can design a system. For designing learning system, we need some five. Basic steps. First one is choosing training example. Second one is choosing target function. Third one is choosing representation of the target function. Fourth one is choosing function approximation, elegant. And final one is final design. Whereas come to the first one, we are mainly discuss now discuss about the. Training experience or training examples. Training. In the first step, training experience. Training experience. Second one is we are select this one target function. Whereas uh, the third one is. We are reference uh, target function. Representation of the target function. Target function. And fourth one is choosing approximation algorithm. Approximation algorithm. 
and finally is designing a checker scheme or we designing a learn. first we are discuss one by one what is the meaning of choosing a training experience what are the various tips are there what are the various things are there in the training experience and then choosing target function what are the various functions are there how we are choosing target function and the second one is uh, third one is choosing representation of the target function how can represent target function once we are finalized the target function and fourth one is choosing function approximation learning. and the final designing of the learning system we discuss one by one first one choosing the training experience a training experience is nothing but we need some experience we need some training experience means we require some practice before we can participate in any competition or any game or any competition any uh, competition so we require some practice that practice here is called training means practice experience or pra training experience so main objective is to design a learn to design a learning system here itself first one is we are selecting the training experience first step the first design choice we face is to choose the type of the training experience from which our system will learn here main is type of training experience from which our system will be learn what type of training we can provide the machine what type of the training will be given to the system and based on the training how it is learn means basically our main object is to play a checkers game we are trying to give the training we are giving especially training give the training to the playing a checkers game practice the checkers game with system or by by itself or by it means so here a training experience what type of Exp training experience we will give, we will give to the system and the system will learn. Whereas come to the especially training experience, we require some mechanism. We may be training the by directly, or we will train the some personally, or training by the some various resources. That as well as the type of training experience available available can have a significant impact on success or failure. The learner this main key objective key impact means it is a significant impact on success or failure of the learner means we are providing this learning we are providing some training to the learner that training process play a major role or means a significant impact on success or failure of the learner means we are giving some training to the learner we are providing good training there is chance for the win the game or win the competition we are giving some less comments less training means some poor training automatically there is chance for to lead the loss lose the game or be lost the game failure case failure case so in that case here the training experience is play a or mainly i have a can have a significant impact significant impact on success or failure of the learner here the learner is there the learner make means for example take some autistic figure is a learner he is for example he is participate the running world champion running means running competition the coach will be always trying that always give the training about the about how much time will be how much distance will cover within a specific duration day by day how much is increase how much is it is how much is increase his speed about his running race as well as how much time is will take a place for to complete 100 meters or 200 or 400 like that means it gives some training one by day day by day that training is good means the coach will the coach will be have some good experience automatically that player will be in the game as well as the trainer will give some less experience as well as poor automatically the learner may be leaves the failure or lose the game that is the thing about it. right one key attribute whether the training experience provides a direct or indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance system means the first first impact first attribute about the success or failure of the learner 
the first key attribute is whether the training experience provides a direct or indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance system. Means mainly it is implies. Me, a one key attribute. We are provide the training to the system. We are give the training. One key attribute means whether training experience provides direct or indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance system. Here we give some training process, direct training. As well as indirect training process that is based on some feedback. Direct feedback or maybe indirect feedback. Means we are giving some training to the direct training as well as indirect training. And regarding the choices made by the performance, for this direct as well as indirect training, we need we have some choices. That choice must be impact, significant impact on the Performance of the system. Performance of the system. Suppose we are given some direct training. It has some impact. For direct training, some choices are there. Or you are trying to give, give an indirect training. There is also some choices are there. And then based on the choices, the performance, the system performance also depends on the issues. So, like that, whenever we can give some direct training as well as indirect training, we I discuss about some example. What is it is how it is direct training is affected by the system as well as direct indirect affected by the system. First, we can take some direct experience, direct training experience. Here, direct training experience, especially we try to train the system. Or repair a system, direct training. Means we give, we can try to implement a code and assign some tasks to the machine system, it will try to give the experience. We take again indirect also. Indirectly, we give some training based on some choices and we can measure the for some performance of the system. For example, it takes about the direct as well as indirect training. You can take example about the to drive a car, to learn a car driving, or to, to learn to drive a car. Direct as well as indirect cars. Whereas come to the direct training, your learner is there. As well as trainer is there. The learner as well as trainer is sit beside by beside, means side by side. Means the learner is in the uh, driving position, the trainer is in the is it left side or on the right side, means in rest, uh, rest location, rest space. So, in direct training, the trainer he will be give the guidelines how to switch on the car. How to hold the steering car steering? How we can move the, our hands about the ABC? That is about the accelerator as well as brake and C uh, uh, clutch. We replace it. Means he gives the guideline each and every one, each and everything directly. Means he gives the guidelines one by one. Please switch on the switch on the car, for on the for on the car and make a hold the steering. And we can make uh, place some legs about the uh, accelerator as well as brake or clutch. He gives the guided by the one by instruction directly. He sit along with you and instruct you how to drive the car in starting this. And how to drive the car step by step. Is, it is called direct training mechanism. Let us come to the checkers game, for example. Here, checkers game is nothing but we are directly learn the checkers game by own, me by ourselves. Based on some program, it's played directly without any addition, without any third party or without any other person's support. Whereas come to the indirect training, 
experience about the car driving fair same example indirect training example is nothing but a, it is indirect training experience is nothing but a, we are watch the uh, watch some videos about the driving mechanism car driving instructions and we try to keep in some audio record or video record in the car and then we try to learn the car driving within of the video or audio step by step on the instructions by instructions means it has indirect mechanism there is no direct person there is no any direct guidelines we are completely depends on the third party it completely depends on the resource that is about the indirect training means we try to we are get some direct training experience it is a result of good sometimes indirect training also gives some good results but when compared with the direct as well as indirect both are the perform the some uh, make some performance based on some system based on the chances automatically it learns that is the only first key attribute means whether the training experience provides a direct or indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance system choices means here choices is nothing but a resources direct person is own choice direct uh, second one is audio or video uh, resources is other choice or by own is third choice right the second attribute second important attribute of the training experience is is the degree degree to which the learner controls the sequence of training examples degree it is means the second attribute important attribute is training training experiences degree to which learner controls the sequence of training examples here we take some training examples means about the degree of effect degree of effect means what type of the control of sequence of example sequence of events are there we take same example about the direct as indirect training experience means we come to the direct control the sequence of training examples here learner is there as well as trainer is there here means the learner is trying to learn the car as well as trainer is trying to learn the degree of and control sequence of actions sequence control training examples for example the trainer is sit along with you he is instruct you he is guide you about the how to start the car as well as how very very increase the speed of the car as well as decrease the speed of the car in case is there any any mistake is happened or is there any problem is raised is there any a uh, rule, uh, rule is avoided uh, means rule is avoided rule, rule is or cross immediately the trainer will be rectified why because you complete depends on trainer so degree can sequence control the sequence of events training examples here the mess means the trainer will really control your any mistake why because it depends on the trainer guidelines or instructions so if any mistake is happened or if any mistake is leads to any mistakes that trainer will be rectify that mistake that is about the degree one for example degree two means about the second degree of degree to which learner controls sequence again second one we a uh, driver will be sit along with you but he don't guide any he don't give any or uh, is success a guidelines about the driving and you will start by yourself based on some expert any experience if any mistakes right you that mistake is recognized by the trainer automatically is also start without any controlling you it is is maybe automatically start is about the another degree next there is no trainer you try to drive the car based on some videos as well as audios is there any mistake is happened is there any is there any mis mistake will be happened you are the responsible for that issues 
means first one is your depend on the trainer trainer is the depend trainer is the responsible for the animation second one is by own you along with trainer means along with trainer but trainer will be rectify the mistakes but whereas come to the third one is by own yourself by own means by learner only the learner will only responsible so you can suffer that is thing about the second act third important attribute of the training experience is how well it represents distribution of examples over which the final system performance p must be measured means here the training experience is how well it is represents distribution of examples over which the final system performance must be measured Yeah, distribution of examples means the distribution of examples is nothing but a here we take some of the checkers game as well as to try to learn a car. First, we can come to the training experience about the to, to, to learn a car to drive the car. First one is distribution example. First one is to learn a car driving your surroundings only means your near. surroundings near locations means it is home second one is school or or college grounds and third one is public places means highways public highways public highways three distribution examples are there first one is you can try to drive a car if you know surroundings only the first example you get some experience why because you have learned the car it in the surroundings only also you can get some experience as well as you can learn the car in school or college grounds you get another type of the exam experience third one public highways means Highways are made from traffics, traffic places. So here, we get some experience by your own in, in your surroundings. Is one type of the experience. Miss, any example is one example. Second one is school or college. Miss, we can get some experience about the grounds, college grounds or school grounds. After the school or school or college grounds, you can get some experience. You have some content. Then the use of me with the You may be asked to the trainer. Yes, we will try to go for the traffic places about the traffic places like public locations, public highways. There is some other training examples. So these are the main key attributes are there about the success or failure of the learner based on some training experience. Means a significant means training experiences a play may a significant impact. on the failure success or failure of the learner means the training experience is play a major role training experience play a major role play a significant impact on success or failure of the learner the first one is first attribute is direct or indirect training experience direct or indirect training experience second one is the learner is controls the sequence of events control the sequence of actions or the sequence of the events and third one is training distribution of the training examples distribution of training examples these are the three key attributes are the about the significant impact on failure or success of the learner based on the training experience means first one is training experience either will be direct direct or indirect training is as impact on the success or failure of the learner and second one is it controls the a sequence of events 
is also one of the parameter, one of the attribute about the success or failure of the uh, learner and distribution of the examples also one of the example about this. This, uh, this is the first one, first step about the designing a learning system. First one is choosing a training experience. Finally, based on this step, we have concluded. You have, you get, us, you get us some good experience, good training experience. Automatically, there is chance for, chance, there is chance for the win the game or maybe success the in competition. Means, welcome to the special about the checkers game. Main object is to design a learning system for the Playing a checkers game, direct and indirect mechanism. Means we try to play a game based on your experience directly. Means you can play the game. For example, play a chess game, for example, with your computer or with your friend. You can directly play the game without any depend on any other resource. That is about the direct. For example, you can play a game with the machine system here maybe your mobile in your mobile for example in that example in that mobile any you can when you play the game or when you play the game it gives a hints for the next move or maybe next moment of the game the system will give some hints it is called indirect mechanism indirect training experience and controls the sequence of events Especially about the, we can move, the movement is best move, or maybe the movement will be correct move or wrong move, it is designed. Means, control, for example, takes some the checkers game, it is a checkers game mode. It controls the sequence of the training examples. Means here we have some possibility. Based on the diagram, you can move like this. From this, there is chance for the win the game in, the, in this move as well as in this diagram, in this move, in this move. We can make a success move. Most of the chance are there is a chance for the 90% of the chance are there to win the game according to this move. It is one example, one training example. About the checker scale. Here is a gallery in here, here some 60% of the chance are there to win the game. Here 70% of the chance are there to win the game. So automatically we select the first one, better one means about the best move, R will be good move. That is called 90% of the That is about the direct and control the sequence of the events, control the sequence of the events. Whereas come to distribution examples about the come to the checker spot. Distribution example, first one is car in car driving, first surroundings. Second is school or college ground, and third one is public places. It comes to the checker scale. First, you can play the game with your neighbor, means with your friends. This is about the one training example. And you can play a game with the system, another example. And you can play a game with com with opponent, it means with the competitor. That is another training example. First, you can play a game with your friend, you get some experience. And with the system, you can get one type of experience. And with the opponent, you can get the another type of the experience. These are the three main key attributes are there about the failure or success of the learner in training experience. Second one is choosing the target function. In this design step, we need to determine exactly what type of the knowledge has been learned and it's used by the performance program. When you are playing a checkers game at any moment of time, you make a decision on choosing the best move from the different possibilities. You think and play and apply learning that you have gained from training experience. If the learning is to a specific board, you move a checker such that you put your board state tends towards winning the situation. Now the same learning has to be defined in terms of the target function. Means in the previous step, first step is we are getting some knowledge about the experience, training experience. Means to choosing the target function means especially depends on the 
training experience. Why? Because you have the better training experience, we can select the target function, good target function. A target function is, is nothing but in this example, you are selected the best move or we better move from the different availables of the possibilities. Means in this one, in this design step, means when you up, in you playing a checkers game, at any moment of time, you make a decision on the choosing the best move from the different possibilities, different possibilities. I can I can we can say the same diagram previously. One that is about the discharge checkers checkers board, for example. Present your current position, for example, your current board state is here. According to the checkers rule, we can move only diagonally. Means, choose the best move from the different possibilities. Best move. For presently, you have a current position of the checkers board game, checker current, current board state. According to the uh, as per uh, checkers uh, game rule, here move to this direction, diagonal rule. For example, same example about it. You may be move the, this direction, this diagonal, there is a 80% of the chances are there, there to win the game. Here we can move only 50% of the chances are there to win the game. As well as here we can move in this diagonal, we, there is a chance for the 90% of the chances are there to win the game. So, you make a decision choosing at any, at, any, at any moment of time, you make a decision on choosing best to move from the different possibilities. Means, we from this we are set up the best move. Means, nearly 90% of the chances are there to win the game. We are up to the, this best move. Why? Because different possibilities, different options are there. From that, we are only select the best one. Why? Because mainly our target is to win the game. And you can think and apply the learning that you have gained from the experience. Means, this decision making is depends on the training experience. Means, about you can play a game with your friends, your colleagues, as well as more practice with other neighbors as well competitors. Based on that, we can do some better and better experience, as well as better training experience. Automatically, you may be select the, you may be get the better, best move from that. Right. Here, the learning is for a specific board, you move a checkers such that your board state tends to towards the winning situation. Means, we can move any direction, that word the direction must be leads to, to leads the win the game. Now, you have, now the same learning also can be defined in terms of the target function. Right. How we can select the target function in this training experience and training experience. Right. Here there are two considerations are, considerations are the direct and indirect experiences. Means direct as well as indirect experience. We are selecting the training. We are selecting the, we are selecting the target function. First one, direct, during the direct experience, the checkers learning system, it needs only to learn how to choose the best move among the some large space search. We need to find the target function that will help us choose the best move among the alternatives. Let us call this function choose move. Miss best move is called choose move. And use the some notation. Choose move. B implies move. Means it indicates that this function is accept the input. Any board from the set of the legal board states. Legal board states of the B. And produce output some, uh, some move from the set of legal moves B. Means this one B is nothing but a legal moves. Means about them. The only it's based on some checkers game. We are playing, we are moving the only board station on the diagonal spaces, diagonal moves only. So from that we are, uh, that diagonal moves is called legal moves. Means this one is board state. As well as based on the direct board state, we are moving the best move. It is called directly. Means 
directly we can change you can select the one board shape then we can move this represents about b plus m means here b is there and then best move is there means the b in case best move b in case board shape and m in case best move legal moves means in the direct one directly we are go to the board state and then we can move here boys in case board states about the legal board states as well as it is shows best move or legal move the board state in this we are selected directly let us come to the indirect training experience means when there is an indirect experience it becomes a difficult to learn such function how to assign a real score on the board state here indirect mechanism Indirect training experience means we have there is no direct chance. Means board state legal moves from the legal moves we select the best legal move. But here indirect means it is not possible to identify directly. But when this indirectly means we have some number of number of options are there here also. So we are selecting we are assigning some score for the moves from the board state. That is it. So the function v function of v. Function B here about the target function B reference target function ma V indicates target function. Here B indicates board state. R indicates real score means possibilities are promoted to, to win the game. So V implies V is equal to B implies R indicates the this accepts the input any board from the set of legal board states B. And to produce an output real score, R indicates real score. This function the highest score to better board states means whenever you have some highest score is there, highest winning possibility is there. We are select the highest possible, highest one from the itself. Means highest score value is there. For example, we can take previous example to win the game in the first first state. There is fifty percent of chance are there to win the game. The second board state, sixty percent of the chance are there to win the game. In the third state, there is eighty percent of the chance are there to win the game. So we are select the only high score value, which is the high score, high possibility to win the game. We are select the only high score. Here B state is third. B B implies R means B state is third state, third option or third possibility. Score value is good. 80 percent R V 80. That is about the indirect. Direct means we can board state directly move only single direction, only single one. We are selecting only best of best one. Whereas come to indirect alternate means number of options are alternate paths are there. From there we are selecting we are selecting some value means we are carrying some probability. From that we are move that location and then to where we can assign the function. Means so we are assigning the target function as well as we are select choosing the target function based on the direct mechanism as well as indirect mechanism. Right. If the system can be successfully learned such the target function v, then it can easily use and select the best move from the any board function position. Means from this successful game, the board function will move from there. Business legal moves. Let us therefore define the target value v of b for an arbitrary board state b in v as follows. If b is the final state, if b is the final state, that is one. Then target function value is equal to hundred. Means b will be final state. B is the final state. Here B is final state. B is the final state in the board, and B will B will be in the game. B will won the game. So that value is good, hundred, not ten, ma, hundred. B is the final state of the board, and it will won the game. It value become as a hundred. And B is the finalist board state. That is 
loves the game and loves the game so v of v is equal to minus 100 why because it is lose the game next if b is a final board state then game will be draw or drawn so its value is b of board value is equal to 0 whereas the plus in uh, 100 is indicates to win the game and complete the game and minus 100 is indicates lose the game and game will be finalized and zero indicates and then the game will be drawn means no one is win in case right if b is not final state in the game in case the b is not final state in the game then v of b is equal to vb where b is the best final uh, final board state that can be achieved starting from the b and playing optimally until end of the game means in case b is not final state as well as not, not uh, game is not completed again we can start from the best move state and we can find some optimal one until unless we have completed the game right ma'am we stop now thank you ma I just I revise about the today topics what we discuss ma up to now we discuss about the designing a learning system from this we discuss about the two steps choosing training experience choosing target function choosing training experience is mainly three key attributes are there direct and indirect training experience as well as control the sequence of training examples distribution of training examples and the second one is different uh, uh, choosing the di direct uh, target function based on the direct mechanism or maybe indirect mechanism means direct training experience indirect training experience direct experience is directly we are saying we are, we are mainly on particular board state then we discuss and indirect means uh, number of alternate options are there there from that we are select the best one means high score value and then the game will be completed if board with b is final state and b will be in the goal in the game that value is become as a hundred and b is the final state it lose the game that final is called minus 100 and the game b is the final state and the game will be drawn so it varies zero in case the game is not completed actually b is also not final state so again we can restart the game to find the optimal one then we can Finalize the target function. This is about the up to today discuss ma. Thank you ma. Thank you Varada. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.